Welcome to Hartside Pass, one of the highest roads in England and uh, famed for its incredible views for miles um, right over there. Um, unfortunately, they're not very visible today. But this site here is interesting. There's a story here and I'm going to tell it to you. Here on Hartside, there's this, like a big nothingness, a big car park with nothing here. There used to be a lovely stone cafe here, uh, very popular with bikers. And this whole car park here would fill up. Now the car park is all potholes and gravel. Cafe has gone and in its place, a little, uh... the beautiful stone cafe burnt down. I think it was like 2018 or 19 of a long time. Uh, this was uh, available. It was for sale uh, because uh, the people who owned the cafe just gave up. Like, they're done, we're done, we're gone. Uh, and then somebody came along and said, no, I can do something with this. And they accepted the challenge. But then Kuthid came along and this is it. They're going to build a big, very modern cafe facing out over that astounding view, which you currently can't see. These stories aren't always a success. You know, you think, oh, I'll just have a go. And then, uh, you know, you come here and there's mist everywhere. There's nothing you can do about it. And I've got to say, because the mist is here, I don't really feel all that high up, but I'm told I very much am. in the afternoon and I'm just winding my way through these hills here um, looking for not a campsite this time uh, I'm looking for a particular spot where I'm hoping oh, I can uh, pitch up a tent uh, but this time I've come a little bit more prepared I have brought uh, things that are going to make life a little bit more luxurious for me. Uh, so I shall uh, share those with you as I produce them from my bags. So this is the Eurohike Avon 3D X LX. And uh, I've borrowed this. This is a, a bigger tent than the one I had before. It's a biggie. So <laughs> I can probably swing a cat in it and I, I miss not being able to swing a cat. Let's uh, get this thing set up, and get myself inside. How hard can it be? Right, I put the, the bottom down and I've used these very heavy pegs which you would never take if you were you know camping up in the hills because these are heavy but they're very easy to pull out and they're very easy to push in with your foot even though this is quite gravelly under this grass I was hitting stones I have my trusty weapon there spade but uh, yeah it's just a matter of coming up to the peg put your foot on it and pushing it in Just taking a little break, sweating cobs. I stupidly did a schoolboy error, which as far as I'm concerned is what everybody does, which I put the fly tent, I put the fly tent up first, the inside tent first. That's not what you're supposed to do. I should have read the instructions. So I had to take it all down again and put the outside up first, which I've done. And uh, it was a nightmare. Definitely a two person job if you don't want to <laughs> absolutely destroy yourself putting it, to, putting it up it's just putting it in the rings it's putting the, the rods into the rings that's hard 
Uh, but now this bit's done. It's a, it's dead easy. <laughs> Famous last words. So I'm going to put the inside up now. Uh, yeah, schoolboy error. Uh, it's very quiet, this campsite. Everybody's keeping themselves to themselves. They've all got smoked glass in their caravan, so I'm presuming they're all staring at me and wondering what I'm doing and thinking what an idiot I am. Or they're watching TV and don't couldn't care less what I'm doing, which is possible. The, the lady came round, £12 for tonight. Not bad. The tent's for three people, so I'm going to be swinging cats and dogs and all sorts around in there. And she said, if I go walking up across that field past the cattle, uh, I'll eventually come to a pub if I fancy a drink. I do fancy a drink, but I don't know if I want to walk through a pub and come home in the dark. But that can be fun. Let's finish this job of putting this thing up. Uh, and believe it or not, although I'm, <laughs> it's a workout, my heart rate's 130. Although all that's going on, I'm really enjoying myself. It's definitely going to rain, which I'm also looking forward to. So there's nothing more relaxing than rain when you're inside a tent. This, this is great. So here's the Uri Cave on 3DLX tent. This is just the outside of it. And uh, if I look inside at this, if I come down here, you can see it's quite vast. It doesn't look quite right at the top, but uh, it looks quite good. Lots of space, ridiculous amount of space. Uh, and this bit here is kind of like a little foyer. It's where I entertain my guests when they come around. And I've got my guests there, and then at the back there is where all the uh, activities go on. That's me having my activities. Of course, it's not going to be quite this big once I put the fly tent in, but uh, cool, eh? Well, that was a job and a half. So lessons learned here is that if you do go with a bigger tent because you want all the home comforts, be ready for a bigger job putting it up. Uh, that's definitely, definitely what I've learned. But once it's, now it's up, I'm really happy. Um, I just wish there was actually somebody here to help me put it up. That would have been a lot easier. Uh, in the future, I'll stick to the smaller tent, which is uh, the only tent I own. This is a smaller tent. So um, I'll stick to that one because uh, that goes up in a few minutes. This is taking me like 40 minutes to put up. A lot to do with the fact I didn't know what I was doing. But uh, it's going to be interesting tonight. The sun's just come out, so it's nice and warm. Um, I'm thinking about making a cup of coffee, uh, but uh, man, I would kill to go and have a cold beer up at the bar. Uh, but I don't know if I can, I don't know about the walk back. Uh, I'll have a look at the, the map, see if I can work it out. Uh, I might do this bit of an adventure. Let me give you a little tour. Well, I have a little tre trekology table there. Uh, in the corner for the phone. It's got the light on it as well. I have a cooler box here. And inside the cooler box is pretty much everything I need. There's some, some food there. Uh, gas for the uh, little hob stove I've got. I've had it for a long time. I use some forks and a spoon, plastic. Here I've got some vitamin tablets. I just have that. I have these with me everywhere I go. Kitchen roll. Uh, on other days, I think you could just fill this up with ice. In fact, I wouldn't even take the ice out of the bags. I'd leave the put a couple of bags of ice in there and just leave it there for the rest of the day. Uh, over here, I've got my uh, this is my camera bag with all, ca all the camera equipment. Uh, the little bag there has got things like wallet and some chargers. I've got my shoes for tomorrow if I go for a hike. I think I'll just put these on anyway. I've got some socks in there, which I might put on tonight. So it'll be cold. Bottle of water. Uh, and over here in the bed area, I've actually got an inflatable bed, which I pumped up with a little motor. Just got like a, a top here. I've got a very cheap. I've had all this stuff for years, man. Got a very cheap little um, sleeping bag. There's a cushion that was just in the car. And I brought a big blankie. So I should be snug as a bug in a rug. 
I have also a lovely little porch area. Which I can show you. There's the stove in that black box over there. This here, this thing, this long thing here is my uh, spade come hiking spike. It's a little bit heavy that. It's actually, I actually got it for um, metal detecting. But uh, I don't think I'll be bringing that next time. I've got a hiking pole there, which is good for getting up off your knees when you're stiff in the morning. Uh, and there's the rucksack. That'll stay out there all night. The little polythene bag there has got the motor for pumping up the bed in it. I'm sitting on a little stool. Although I do outside have a big chair, which I will go and sit in with my coffee once it's made. This is cool. This is good. This is good fun. Um, some people might think, well, <laughs> why don't you just stay at home? That's a good question. But this is, you know, I'm sitting here, I'm next to grass and fields and cattle. I can hear other people. I've faced my entrance to my tent away from the campsite, so everyone's behind me. Um, I just went to the loo and there were other people there filling up with water. So it's, it's not private, it, uh, uh, which is, you don't get the peace and calm I imagine you'd get if you went wild camping, but you get something. And um, for twelve pound, and you know it's, like, it's better than a. You're not going to get a hotel around here or a B and B for anything under a hundred pound. So it's a it's a simple life, and yeah, it's a little bit of a workout. But I think it's, I, I think I'm just making a bit of a song and dance about it. It's just because I'm not fit, you know. So you know, it's good. Give yourself a little bit of a workout. Go camping. But this, you know, I wish I had a tent this big. Because, you know, I do a lot more camping. Maybe I'll convince somebody to give me it. <clears throat> Seeing as they don't use it, it's brand new. It's hardly used. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm going to chill out here, watch some YouTube. Uh, just sort of potter around, really. I'm not going to cook any food. I have brought with me some of my OptiFast diet food. So I have a protein bar and protein soup. Lucky, 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 lucky me. Uh, it's about half past nine. Still light outside, but it's cold. And I found that if I close off this inner sanctum, even the little air vents, if I close them off, it keeps the uh, keeps the warmth in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to keep this vent here. Can't really see it. But I'm going to keep that there because um, otherwise it'll get all moisture in here from me, my breath condensation. Uh, feeling really good, I'm excited. And uh, just popped out to the loo again, that's exciting. They've got a little shed, that's exciting. Uh, I'm gonna have a, uh, I'm gonna have a freeze dried uh, mountain food. Uh, <laughs> Spectacular. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't really. But I'm gonna. Cause I need something warm. <laughs> Nutritious. Oh. Wow. Oh, good morning. How are you? How are you doing? Well, that was an adventure. Whoa. It is, um, I think about quarter past seven. Oh, extremely windy last night. I was snug as a bug in a rug. This inflatable bed. Sounds like a good idea, but it deflates. The cheap ones from Tesco's, which is the one I bought. Um, it, it was comfortable, but uh, it does it does deflate quite a lot. But uh, I feel pretty good, a bit stiff. I feel really good. 
look fantastic that's the best thing look absolutely amazing uh, which is how things are so next is uh, pop to the loo uh, and then I'm have a cup of coffee obviously so uh, off I go uh, it's coming down nicely so this happened well thanks very much for watching and please do uh, leave a comment down below if you've got something to ask or something to educate me about I'm always up for learning new things uh, I know I make mistakes I know I'm a terrible amateur and I know I'm <laughs> I know I need to work out uh, and I'd enjoy it a lot more <laughs> but I'm sticking with it I will be doing a third camping trip sometime soon and I don't know where but I've got my eye on Scotland but uh I haven't got the finances quite at the moment to do that. But um, yeah, do subscribe and uh, do like the video. YouTube like it when people do that. But until then, uh, until next time, I should say, cheerio.